all right once again you're welcome to pg collection clothing and in this video i'll be showing us how to make an agbada all right so these are the measurements we'll be using the shoulder and the sleeve together is 60 the length the agbada length is 50 and i'll be using three yards by 60 take note part will come in either 45 or by 60 so i'm using three yards by 60 depending on how big or small the agbada is so this is the fabric i'll be using all right before i use this fabric i'll show us how to go about the folding and the embroidery all right so the very first thing you need to do assuming this is your three yards fabric take note assuming this is your three yards fabric so what you do you fold as shown you fold as shown you fold take note into two this the length here is by 60 take note this is the length here and this is the width part this is the width which will contain the shoulder and the sleeve and this is our body length take note all right so the next thing you do you fold again into two you fold again into two equal parts and you mark you put a notch, take note, at the center here, take note at this point, at this folded point, you put a notch. Alright, so, so this is the point where you do your embroidery, take note, at this point here, where we fixed our notch, that is where you do the embroidery, take note, so at this point, we are doing our Agbada embroidery, take note, so, that is how we go about the measurements, the fixing of the notch for the embroidery. Alright, so in this video, I'll be showing us how to couple the Agbada. Remember, the Agbada sleeve and the shoulder together is 56. Take note, the Agbada sleeve and the shoulder is 56. Then the Agbada length is also 56. Take note, so this is the Agbada. We are through with the embroidery of the Agbada. And we want to do the coupling now so the half of it so 56 that is the shoulder and the sleeve gives us 56 so the shoulder and the sleeve gives us so the half of it to be half of it starting from here now half of it taking it down down we have as you can see we have 29 so remember half of 56 is 28 and one inch is for our sewing allowance that is the folding allowance so we'll be doing the folding now so we want to do the folding so what you do is you go to your sewing machine one inch we folded we added one inch for folding so this is the wrong side so you fold half inch then you fold in again that gives you one inch so you sew this so it is down to the ending so you're doing this for this other part and you're also doing this for this other ending part now in some agbada now if you take a look at some agbada you notice that at the at the inside of the agbada you see that it is different from the main fabric now this is what you do to do that for example let's assume that this fabric this is what you want to use now it's kind of design inside at the end now what to do is this is a good side in this case this is a good side so what to do now you sew half inch take note you first of all sew half inch down to the ending then when you're trying to turn it to the wrong side turn it to the wrong side then you also top stitch down to the ending in that case if you check you see that it will be this it to be at the back to be at the back but in this case we're not using this. so what you do is we're just doing the folding so you fold half inch then you fold again and you run this down to the ending so let's do that now all right so as you can see i'm folding the one inch i remember your this is the wrong side you're folding it to the wrong side take note you're folding it to the wrong side i'm folding off the one inch so you do sew that down to the ending. All 
right when you're through with the other part we're doing the second part the left remember we have put the left and the right so i'm doing the second part now so you sew this down you're sewing this down to the ending So if we are still full with one inch. So it down to the ending. All right. All right, so as you can see we are true with our folding. This is our folding. We are true. Okay, the next thing we need to do now is to take the agbada length. So, starting from this point, which is the shoulder region, you measure. Remember, the agbada length is 56. So, from here, you're measuring down. This is the agbada length. You're taking it down. 56. Down. Taking it down. And what we have here is total is 59. We have 59, as you can see. This is the total length and remember the agbada length is 56 so we are marking at this point so the next thing we need to do for adults you sew from this point the extra you sew from this point down to 7 inch take note this is a good side take note and these are the wrong side the wrong side of our fabric take note the wrong side so remember the full agbada length here the total is 59 so I'm sewing out 3 inch. So from this point, the 3 inch, the two together, remember, the two together, and these are the wrong side, while these are the good side. The two together, we are sewing 7 inch. For adults, you sew 7 inch. Then for kids, you sew 5 inch. So you sew down, you sew down the 3 inch to 7 inch. You stop here. Then you also do the same at this point. Take note. At this point, the two together, you sew 7 inch, remember 3, you're marking out 3 inch, then you sew from here down to 7 inch, so you're sewing here, so let's do that now, you stop at 7 inch as you can see, 7 inch. Come over this way. Make sure you stop at seven feet. If you're sewing for kids, it's five inches, so five inch or four inch, but for adults, seven inch. Alright. Alright, when you're true sewing, the next thing you do, you open it as you can see. When you're true sewing, open it as shown. You open this as shown. You open it. Then you fold, you fold these edges and you sew down to the ending, you fold this, take the window through, sewing this part down to 7, you open it as shown, then you fold this part and you sew from here down to the ending. Then when you come over this way, you also fold this part half inch down, you fold, then you sew this down to the end so let's do that now all right okay i'm doing the folding as you can see i'm doing the folding all 
All right? You fold this down to the ending, at least half inch. When you get to this ending, by turn it this way, if you turn it this way, then you sew. As you can see, you sew, then you fold this other part again. Remember, we are folding just some, but we said we are folding both sides. So, you fold this other part again. And you sew down to the ending. So, you are folding this, fold this part down, and you are taking it down to the ending. We are almost through with the abada making. Almost through. All right, so that is how you couple your bar. So we are through with the coupling. All right, so we are through with the coupling. So the next thing you need to do is to press it down. All right, so when you're through, what you do is you, you iron the edges down, iron it down. That is what you do. Press it down to make sure that it's neat. Okay, I'm trying to press the down part. This is the down part. So I'm trying to press it down okay as you can see this is the opening this is how it look like when you're through right this is the opening as you can see this is how it look like it's other part as well so this is how we make our Agbada. Alright, so the next thing is to fold. You do the folding. So these are Agbada that we are through. These are the edges. These are the edges. 